Now let's talk about modifying brushes. So for example, I have the move brush here. And if I go in here to the curve menu and I type on and I tap on AccuCurve, I can actually use this to go through and pull out the corners. So it's kind of useful for just like grabbing corners and pulling out the like boxes. Or also just using this as a little bit more of a controlled move brush. So if I go through here, for example, if I do the move brush and I use the move brush without an AccuCurve, I can pull out and it's just going to pull out to a very broad shape. If I use AccuCurve and turn this on, it's going to kind of pull out to a corner. So this can really come in handy again just to pull out to corners. You can get some really nice effects. However, I want to use my move brush and my move Accu brush. So what I can do is I can take this move brush, I'll turn off Accu, so again I can hit Alt W for my hotkey and I can just use the regular move brush which I use all the time. I'm going to take this move brush, I'm going to go in here to clone, and that's going to at the very end give me a new move underscore one brush. So for this move underscore one brush, I'm going to go in here, turn on Accu curve. So now I have a new move brush that has Accu curve turned on. Now, while I'm in the ZBrush session, I can always hit B and go in here and select that new brush. But if I want access to this later, I can go in here to Brush, Save As, and there's a couple different places I can put this that'll make it a little bit easier for me to find later. The first place is C Program Files Pixel Logic ZBrush 2021 ZBrushes. Now in here, like I said before, you can put your own folders in here. I just put an underscore in, between, in, in front of the at ones that I've added to ZBrush. Or if there's already a folder in here that would make sense, you can go ahead and put it in here. For example, there's already a move folder in here, so if I want, I can go in here and say, you know what, I'll name this one Move Accurate, and I'll save it in there. And if I ever want this brush again, I'm gonna hit the comma key, go in here to Brush, Move, and now you can see there's a Move Accurate brush I can select. I just added it there. So whenever I want the Move Accurate, I can double click that, and it'll go ahead and give me a Move Accurate brush in my ZBrush session. So like I mentioned before, if I only use this every once in a while, I can just throw it in here in my Lightbox menu, which is essentially that location I just showed you, and you can just grab brushes from there every once in a while. However, if I always use my Move Accurate brush, a better place to put that, let's go ahead and select the Move Accurate brush again. I'm going to go here into Brush, Save As, and then instead of saving it into my ZBrush 21 Z Brushes menu, let's go to ZBrush 21 2021 Z Startup Brush Presets. And in here you're going to see I already have a Move Accu brush in here. So I would just save over this or I would save in this folder. And what that tells ZBrush is every single time I start up, if I hit the B key, you're going to see I have a Move Accu brush that comes in when ZBrush loads up every time. So what that means is I can assign a hotkey to this. I'm going to hold down Control Alt, Tap. I'm going to assign this to Alt V. So now whenever I need the Move Accu brush, I can just hit Alt V. So it's going to load up every time I start up ZBrush. And I can assign a hotkey to it. So that's how you can save a custom brush that you've set up into a folder that you either use sometimes or you use all the time. Now there is another folder. If you go into your program files, Pixelogic ZBrush 2021 ZData, there's a brush presets folder in here. And this is all of the brushes that come in by default. Now you're going to see out here, out here underneath the ZBrush 2021 ZData folder. Ah, I guess I don't have one. What I would suggest doing if you're going to do anything to these brushes is just select this brush presets folder, control C, control V to go ahead and paste a brush presets copy. So that way you always have a version of these default brushes to go back to. If you ever mess any of them up, you don't have to do a reinstall. You can just go back to this folder. But if you ever want to change any default behavior, for example, one of the things I like to do is if I hold down Shift and you go down here. So here's the brush menu. I go all the way down here to where it says smooth brush modifiers. Now you're going to see there's a weighted smooth mode here and if I hold down shift you're going to see the weighted smooth mode by default for the smooth brush is set to zero. Now if I hover over this you're going to see one is stronger, two is balance, etc. If you ever want access to these, if you hit the comma key, go in here to brush and go in here to smooth, here's where you'll find all these. Here's smooth balance, here's smooth perpendicular, smooth directional, etc. All of those options, if you hit the comma key to turn that off, are found right here under weighted smooth mode. Now smooth stronger, you can 
go in here and choose Smooth Stronger if you only use it once in a while. I personally prefer to use Smooth Stronger every time I use Smooth, and then just use my Z intensity to knock that down a bit. So what I like to do is I'll hold down Shift, I'll change Weighted Smooth Mode to 1, and then with Shift still selected, because I want that Smooth Brush activated, I'm going to go in here to Brush, Save As, we're going to go in here to ZBrush 2021, Z Data, Brush Presets, and we're going to save it with this smooth brush right here. So I'm going to double click this, say yes, I want to replace it. And now every time I start up ZBrush, when I hold down Shift to Smooth, Weighted Smooth Mode is going to be turned on by default. And what that does is basically, if I have Weighted Smooth Mode turned on, it'll go through and really smooth my object. So now if I want to turn down that intensity, I can drop that Z intensity down, and it'll smooth less. This gives me a little bit more range. The alternative is, if I have this up to 100, hold down Shift, and then turn this up to 100, and then go over here to Weighted Smooth Mode set to 0, now it's only going to smooth so much. So I prefer to have a little bit extra, so Weighted Smooth Mode set to 1, Z Intensity at 100, and I can smooth out, and if it's too much, hold down Shift, and just drop my Z Intensity down as needed.